Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children, let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic is, do you see the fight? There is not only a fight, but a war going on in the spiritual realm. A war between the good angels of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and his Father, Abba Father, and with the angels that belong to Satan, a fight between good and evil. The angels of the Lord are fighting against the evil principalities. We see that because for our help, the Lord has sent his forerunner, the spirit of Elijah, into the world. And we see that because there is a great fight on YouTube and about what is the, the reason why is there this fight it's because of doctrines and it's because that you have to make a stand either to be in the world or completely out of the world and stand for for god people are clinging so much to the worldly things by bringing out fantasies by saying everything is okay, you can just stay in the world and do whatever you want. But the spirit of Elijah is convicting you of every sin that you have committed. And if you do not repent and change your life, do not commit the sin again, then you will not be enter heaven and eternal life. You have to repent and repent daily and walk that righteous path towards Mount Zion, where we will all be ruptured into paradise. The big fight is there. A war is in the spirit. Don't you see it? Don't you see what happened in the last months? Why is there so much fighting online? That is because we are coming now to that point, the point of no return. Now everything is thrown against one another. Now the separation between the goats and the sheep will take place. Between the ones that will remain in the world and will be subject to the Antichrist and the false prophet and the ones that are ready to separate from the world and have nothing to do with the world or nothing to do with worldly agencies anymore who will stand only for the heavenly kingdom the true sheep who have given everything, who have died for their Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who have taken the cross, who have gone through the wilderness and through the fire to be refined like gold. These are the ones that the Lord is seeking. These are the ones that he is filling with his seeds, with his knowledge, with his wisdom, with his glory. And these are the ones who will become his disciples to bring in the great harvest of the ages. A war is raging. Do you see the fight? Not only in the physical, but in the spiritual. You also should feel it, that there is something big coming, that there is a big fight going on. You feel it through headache, through sleepless nights. You feel it through your emotions. Something big is on the way. The fight will end. The war will end. And one thing is that I'm sure of is that God will win. But when God will win, the situation in the world will get even worse. Because then Satan only has the world left. So you have to come out of the world and out of Babylon and separate yourself from the world. Build, establish the dwelling places of Zion. Come together in love, unity and support. Support one another in brotherly love and show forth the love of the Father to your neighbors as you are commanded. Love your neighbors as yourself. The people who stay in the world, they don't want to listen to that. They don't want to come together. They don't want to share their resources. They don't want to help the needy. They don't want to do that. And especially they don't want to repent. But you, you are a chosen people. You will do that. You will come out of the world and you will repent. And you will be part of the heavenly kingdom. 
and of the Millennium Kingdom that will come onto the earth. And you will stand very close with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ at that time. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today. And I know you feel the war and you see the fighting. I know. Now I have an announcement to make. Because the dwelling places of Zion must be established right now. The Lord has commanded that. So he is calling forth his elders now. But the elders must be trained. So we are bringing forth the training of the elders from the 15th of December to the 15th of February 2020. We will start a training session. You can register for that training through Eventbrite. I will put a link in the first pin comment, or in the, no, not the first, in the second pin comment, or in the second comment. I will put the link for this promotion that we do for this training that we do. You can follow that link. Register at Eventbrite for that event. It is at least two times a week minimum one hour and over two months and everybody who will be trained as an elder will then be able to establish a dwelling place of Zion in, the, in their neighborhoods. You will be the one that will then gather the people, train them and make them to disciples and send them out into the neighborhood so that they can bring in the multitude closed and white, the wheat harvest into the barn. You will become an elder. Listen, if the, listen to this small voice that is in your heart and in your soul that is calling you forth to be an elder of the dwelling places of Zion. If you have that feeling that you should be an elder, then register through the Eventbrite link and, become, and take part into that training sessions. More information are there in in the links. After you follow the links, you come to Eventbrite and information will be given there. So sign up because you can only sign up up to the 10th of December. Then it will be closed. And only 22 people can take place because it will be an interaction. It will be a live training with interaction. So we cannot have more than 22 people at the same time. So sign up because limited places are available. And you will be trained and everybody who will be trained will receive a certificate and will be able to establish dwelling places of Zion in their neighborhoods or in your house, like an assembly or house church. And you will always be continued to train from us and get help from us so that you can build them, that you can gather the people together, the children of Zion, that you then empower them and send them into the neighborhood to bring in the multitude closed and white. So do the step now. Pray to the Lord. Ask the Lord, should I be an elder of your dwelling places of Zion? And if you hear that voice saying, yes, my daughter, yes, my son, step forward and become an elder, then register to our links right now, because the places are limited. Thank you that you have listened to this topic today, and I hope that I see you all at the training and I hope that you all become elders and establish your own dwelling place of Zion. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your donations. If you want to sow into the ministry, follow the link in the first pin comment or in the description box below. Thank you for your help and I know you will become fantastic elders and the Lord will protect you and give you knowledge and wisdom and he will send to you the Holy Spirit. Have a blessed day and I will see you again tomorrow. Maranatha.